Welcome to Web Weekly Live, November 23rd. Steph, Thanksgiving Eve. It is. I can't believe it. tomorrow is the big day. I've got comfy pants ready to go and lots of food planned, so I'm looking forward to that. One of my favorite times of the year kicking off, and then Thanksgiving's uh, probably my favorite holiday because no wrapping required. <laughs> yes, no Easter food. baskets, and, and it's food, and it's football, and it's family, and it's and remember to give thanks yeah but. absolutely um yeah it's also one of my my favorite holidays too so i'm looking forward to spending the day with with some family so. excellent well you've been a busy lady so yeah we have a very busy week ahead um our holiday gift guide comes out this week we've got like 96 pages of web weekly coming at you so <laughs> we got um we got that coming and there's a lot going on in the paper um the big thing is the blaze alexander web weekly christmas coloring contest kicks oh, off wow. this week um, all the details are in the paper, but um, first let me say thank you and happy Thanksgiving to all our postal workers that yeah, deal with Web Weekly this week. Because that's but tell us about the the Web Weekly coloring contest grows every year and it's one of my, and, and I thank the Alexander family. I thank Adam Alexander. But tell us about it a little bit. You know, I can't believe the response that we've gotten to this this coloring contest over the years. Um, you know, we're averaging you know between five and six hundred entries a year. And we um, are so lucky that um, we've got some great sponsors behind it. Um, we have prizes from Fly World and English Model Railroad, Treasure Castle Playland, Ellery Now, Hoopla's, Harder's, The Movie Theater, Dairy Queen, Gastonian, Bax and Bowling, um, all offering up prizes for the kids. Um, great incentives to get your, your contest in. It'll run um, in this week's paper and next week's paper. Um, get coloring. Um, by the end of the two weeks, the area around my desk is covered in <laughs> glitter. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. And the, the, well, first of all, thank you for going through all those. <laughs> And then, and then you have people vote on them. Steph, really make sure that there's a legitimate process that every child gets seen and voted on and we have legitimate winners. And by that time, there's glitter and there's stars and there's, <laughs> there's pipe cleaner, you name it, cotton balls. Yeah, we've got everything. The, the creativity of the kids is fantastic. Absolutely. So, so um, I'm always looking forward to that. So be sure to get your entries in. Um, and speaking of Christmas, um, this weekend, they're doing the tickets giveaway for the Skip Hunsinger um, Christmas Spectacular at the Community Arts Center. Um, tickets are available from 10 till noon. Be sure to show up early though because tickets go quickly and once they're gone, they're gone. Um, Lou's got all the details of that. Another great event that grows every year. Yeah, and they're in their 10th year wow. of doing that this year. Um, so that's, Excellent. Yeah, that's really great to see. Um, and, and you know what I, I, I should mention while we're talking about the Web Weekly Big Buck Contest uh, with yeah. House Taxidermy and with Country Store. Uh, that that obviously started in archery season, but get yeah. your big bucks in, uh, take them in, have them measured. You can you can win a, uh, a shoulder mount. You can win great venison processing from the Country Store. But just by taking your buck in and getting registered, you're eligible to win a random drawing of a nice Remington rifle from my good friends up here, Sowers that Gun Shop. Fantastic. So um, I. I I and their their can... Ron Mingle deserves the shout right. out for that because he takes great care of getting all of the entries organized and and scored. And... Yeah, Ron Ron Mingle and, and God bless his heart makes sure everything <laughs> gets organized, gets taken care of, and and then every buck gets scored and he oversees the process again because we we try to do the best job we can to yeah. make sure the best person wins no matter what it is. Absolutely. But, uh, what and, else? Well, you know, um, before I get to our trivia question, you know, I'm not usually one to to jump into um, talking about football, but we need to talk about football because our, our Williamsport Millionaires um, picked up another win this weekend, took another step into playoffs, um, and they've got um, a lot going on. Not only are we streaming the game, um, but they're doing a send-off on Saturday morning before the game. Um, they're asking for people to line the streets from the bottom of 4th Street, from the hill to the school, up to the 220 ramp. Um, they're asking for people to be lined up and ready to go by like 820. But bring your signs, bring your noisemakers, your pom-poms, send the team off in style. Um, they're headed to Altoona to play Pittsburgh Central Catholic. And uh, the community's getting behind the millionaires. Reminds me of when they went on the state basketball championship run with Pete White. And uh, unbelievable season. The same thing, the same feeling with football. And, and I think we'll do our trivia question. We'll take a commercial break and come back and talk about Williamsport football a little more. Sounds good. So uh, that, that'll give, give people a chance to win. And uh, we'll give us a little more time for the millionaires. All right. So. So what do you got? What are we giving away? Okay, so we have um, a $25 gift card to Perkins. And the trivia question is, what year did President Lincoln declare two national Thanksgivings? 
Oh, wow. And I happen to know that I, the, the answer is in the paper this week, if you want to go looking for it. Who wrote about that? Um, actually, we both did. Oh, Well, uh, we wow. have two stories that, that have the answer to that in there. So, uh, once again, what year did President Lincoln declare two national Thanksgivings? Post below, $25 gift card to Perkins. Um, remember, if you or someone in your house has won in the last 30 days, let someone else win. You were just shocked they dropped a little history. Now. A little bit. Right. I was a little surprised. <laughs> And uh, I think that's a fantastic question, and we'll, we'll take a commercial break for our good friends at uh, Murray Motors. Mazdas, Fords are on sale now, great used cars, and uh, they got a cheaper lot, so something for everybody's uh, a pocketbook, so to speak, and uh, we'll be right back. Looking for a new truck? We know that 88% of you have already done your research online. You know the best price and factory rebates. Now you want to take a test drive and you have to pick a dealership to visit. Let Murray Motors make your decision easier. We offer a no-hassle, low-pressure experience. Our staff is friendly and knowledgeable. All new Ford purchases get our free lifetime engine and transmission warranty. So what are you waiting for? Stop in and save thousands on these trucks and see why more people continue to buy from Murray Motors. And we're back with Major Don Spencer from the Salvation Army. Welcome, Don. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. And uh, great work you folks do over there. And, and it always amazes me, the Salvation Army, you sure don't have an army of people over there, but you managed to get everything done, and I uh, tip my cap to you. Well, thanks very much. I appreciate that. It is an army. It's a small one, perhaps, <laughs> small, yep. in terms of the, how many people are in the world. But no, we have a good number of people that help us out Absolutely. to get things done. Yeah. And... Um, busy time of the year mm -hmm. you, have, you have so much going yeah. on and everybody thinks about the red kettle yeah bringing the red yeah. kettle why don't you tell us about what's going on with that every year and, sure. and just the overview from the salvation army's point of view sure well the red kettle is very visible this yeah. is our biggest time of year for fundraising and so we're out there with the kettles with our volunteers and we use what's raised there to fund our programming throughout the year a big part of that is the Christmas baskets, as we call them, the food and toys that we give to families at Christmas time so they can celebrate Christmas together. We can give Santa a little bit of help. Absolutely. And that's something that we take great pleasure in being able to do. And, and it's always so important, and I want everybody to hear it, the money that is raised here, the money that mm -hmm. comes in here stays here. Yes. And, and the money that goes into those kettles is all used on people. So that why don't is you correct. talk a moment about that? Okay. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, the Salvation Army, while we are everywhere, it seems, um, we are very local. And wherever right. you find the Army, the Army needs to fund itself because it's serving that area to fund itself in the area. So everything is local. Um, we rely very heavily on the generosity of men and women like yourself. Uh, it's people that, while they're out shopping, buy an extra toy. Uh, and take a tag from those angel trees and bring us those things. It's people buying turkeys and bringing it to us so we can in turn give that to a family. Sure. And the key really is that there are so many people that want to do something for the less fortunate. And we're very pleased that we can be a conduit for that. And, and I said, and not many folks in your army over mm -hmm. there, and obviously it's a world, it is an army, yeah. but you run uh, pretty lean on, you yeah. know, not, not a lot of overhead, not like a, a leather. Uh, non-profit yeah. organizations that have big staffs yeah. and staffing. You guys are pretty tight to the vest, and uh, yeah. I think that's important. You know, Obviously, that's more money that gets into the right hands. So. Sure, that's the idea. Um, obviously, we have to pay for some things, but we do our best to make sure whatever comes in, we're able to give out because the, the, the Army does have a mission. We're not just here Absolutely. to be good people. We're here because we want people to know that God loves them. And we're able to do that through our charitable efforts. And part of that is, again, people like yourself give well, to thank us. You. you can know you're connecting with people. And you'll be able to remind people that they're valuable, that they matter. And that they're very special, most importantly, to God. And that's what we're all about. And it, it is a mission of God. Yeah. So, and, yeah. I, and again, I, that's very near and dear yeah. to my heart. I know it folks is. Do, so. yes. um, speaking of the, the donations mm -hmm. and, and you the turkeys and the angel tree where exactly first of all can you find the angel trees and then mm -hmm. um, where can people bring the donations if they have an extra toy or want to donate a turkey where can they do that at? sure well you can bring them to our any one of our two uh, thrift stores mm -hmm. out uh, the exit past the mall in Pensdale and then off Dewey Avenue uh, right across from Pepsi or our office on Main Street our main center 
uh, or Market Street, excuse me, 457 Market. Okay. And there are various places around town. You'll see little tags with a Salvation Army uh, shield on it and a picture of an angel. And that will have the name of a boy or a girl and what they would like Santa to bring them. You grab one of those, you go shopping, you turn it in at that location. Or if you don't find a tag, you see something another child might like, you just bring it to us. That's really great. Um, it's yeah. It's like you said, it's really nice that everything stays local mm -hmm. and that, you know, it's it's local yeah. families that are, are being helped. And, you know, if, if you if you can, please go out and, and pick up a, a toy for a child or or pick up a turkey. You know, maybe you have that free turkey coming from one of the local grocery stores and you're not sure what to do with it. That's a great place for it to go. So. Yeah, well, it's the idea. There's enough need in the world. Yeah. So we're going to concentrate on our little corner of it. And again, it's men and women like yourselves that enable us to be able to help those that you may not know are there, but that the need is there. And our whole thing with the Christmas baskets, it is to make Christmas special for boys Absolutely. and girls and for families. That's our motivation, uh, especially at this time of year. And and uh, how about somebody that might need a little help, need the mm -hmm. basket, need, need yeah. some? How, how do they do it, go about getting a hold of? Uh, I know there's dates and sign-ups. Yeah. You come to the Salvation Army, you can go to our website, um, and the details are there. But basically, you come to our office, we interview you, again, on Market Street. We interview you, uh, we see what your children would like for Christmas, we do our best to meet that need. But we take time to talk to everyone and, that we're going to help. And that's what I was getting at. Yeah. It isn't like it's a random... No, not at all. You, you folks actually take the time to get sure. to know the people that are being sure. helped and to, to be specific to their needs. And I think that's exactly. very... very honorable and important well, thank you. so um, well you, i appreciate that you have some dates coming up for that uh we do basically we're we're signing up people for christmas assistance now okay um, we do have food pantries and other types of assistance that go on all year long but in specific uh specifically at christmas time um uh the 29th uh the 22nd uh december 6 uh in the morning and then in the afternoon uh, on December 1st and 8th, people can come in and we'd be happy to interview them. But if there's a special need, call us. Get in touch with us and we will do our best to make sure, even if we can't do something directly for you, to find somebody who can. And I also think that it's important to mention that it's um, the Salvation Army, we, we think about a lot during Christmas because of the red kettles, um, but you guys have a lot of great programs going on all year long, and, yeah. and we should definitely you know keep that in mind. Great point, um, there's the, the, the Red Shield Community Garden, mm -hmm. and you guys do some, um, I've seen some um, budgeting and financial mm -hmm. planning exactly. classes, so keep an eye out for that. They've got a lot of great programs um, to help people out all year long also. And, and the thrift stores are all open all year yeah. long and help people. That's correct. And not only they help people that might need items, mm -hmm. but they have the money goes back into the pot. Um, exactly. And and what what are the locate the one that Steph you mentioned gets forgetting about a little bit. The one up on Dewey Ave, it's um, right there. You mentioned earlier across the street from um, Pepsi, near where the old um, Speedies. If you remember right. back in the day, <laughs> the old Speedies used to be. Um, it's a great little um, shop there. They've got a lot of great items. I've been in there a few times myself. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's one out in the Halls Pensdale area across um, from the a-frame sub shop next to uh, tommy springman's restaurant yeah right so and what are we missing there's there's well, an, that's it that's we have those two, two and okay. those exist simply yes to help people but to help fund our, our work here fund everything yeah. yeah anything we missed i don't think so i think we've been <laughs> pretty we thorough talk, we talk. <laughs> well excellent well thank you for coming in well, today thanks very yeah. much for allowing me the time and uh, we're going to take a commercial break and we're going to come back with another gentleman uh, from the salvation army tony parada you are a smart shopper. You research online and read all the reviews on safety and economic savings. Buying a new car is a big decision and we know that at Murray Mazda. So combine the great reviews the Mazda CX-5 is getting, our inventory, friendly and knowledgeable sales staff, and our free lifetime engine and transmission warranty, as well as 0% for 63 months, why wouldn't you come test drive a Mazda today? Driving matters to Mazda and you matter to Murray Mazda. And we're back. We're here with Tony Parado from the uh, Salvation Army, and we're here to talk about the Festival of Trees. Yes, the 14th Annual Festival of Trees. And let, I think, you know, Web Weekly's probably been covering the Festival of Trees for almost as long as you've been having it. So yeah. why don't you tell us a little bit about it? 
Before I do, I certainly appreciate Web Weekly supporting us on sure. our efforts. You know, they, they do a cover story for us the day of the, uh, the week of the auction, mm -hmm. brings everybody together. So it's certainly part of a uh, big part of our program. Well, we're happy to help. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the Festival of Trees basically is uh, it's a fundraising event for us. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, we decorated the trees and we had 40 trees decorated this year, which is the highest number since I've been involved in wow. that, which is great. And for a three week period, the trees are uh, at the mall and people just go around and look at the trees. And it's really interesting to see the older folks, the younger folks, all just enjoying, enjoying the trees. And part of it is the businesses and the organizations have a sign on who decorated the trees. And so that's, that's a big part of it also. So they get some support also. And there's some incentives involved on the trees too? Each tree has an incentive. And we auction off the trees and the incentives on Friday, December 9th at 7 p.m. at the Salvation, at, no, at the Lycoming like, Mall. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> at the mall. And Mike Rohn, uh, uh, Rohn Auctioneer, mm -hmm. has been uh, uh, volunteering his services to this program since the beginning also. Yeah, he's, he's a friend of the Web Weekly for sure. Yes, so. yes, and a friend of the Salvation Army. So, so I got to ask you, what, what's harder, doing the Festival of Trees or, or ref and basketball games for 31 years? <laughs> I, you, you, know me, you know the answer to that, Jim. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the game of basketball, so I'd rather much be on the court. <laughs> I'm sure you would, and, and you do a great job with the Festival of Trees. I know that's Thank it's you. a big event to tie together. It's, it's a... One of our biggest fundraising events on the, um, uh, the Salvation Army has this holiday season to spur us on. And those the, the funds that we use really supports us throughout the year. And Mike Rohn always does a fantastic job optioning yes. off the trees and getting every last dollar. Yes. <laughs> He's good at giving every last dollar. I can tell you that firsthand. <laughs> that, that he can for you, and that's a, that's a good thing. Like I said, he's proud of the fact that he's been doing this for 14 years for us. And uh, we, we do a Web Weekly tree, and, and our, our uh, theme this year is eateries found in the Web Weekly. And we're going to oh. have uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of gift cards to the restaurants that advertise within our Web Weekly. So, And again, that supports the Salvation Army and the ongoing programs. So if I could put another plug, uh, December 9th. 7 p.m. That's please, the, please come and bid on your bid on our trees. And December 9th, and, and go ahead, Chris. And say if, if you haven't been out yet, um, the um, trees are in um, the old Pack Sun store right yes. off of Center Court. Um, be sure to go and check it out and and check out our tree because it's super cute this year and, and it's and got that, its own little top hat. And I didn't mean to call you Christy, but that's <laughs> that's where I was going with that. Is uh, uh, Christy Wall who works for us decorates our tree every year and does a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year it looks exceptional. And if you want to pop it up there, take me out of the picture if you haven't already. <laughs> looks better anyway. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and she enjoys it thoroughly and being part of it and does yes. a fantastic job. And it's better than my, me decorating the tree because <laughs> or me because you'd probably get a sports theme if I did it every year. And, and, uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> you can understand it. But what else you want to tell us about the Festival of Trees, or did we hit it all? We hit everything. Just uh, like I said, that's our biggest fund, one of our biggest fundraising events. And I know Major talked about uh, our volunteer efforts on the kettles again. But uh, we certainly should know if you're a volunteer or like a, a group or volunteer to, to really be part of that effort, please call us. We can certainly mm -hmm. use your help on that also. Mm -hmm. And that leads us to, to my longtime good friend and yours, Dave Seckler. Yes. That boy, he pounded the pavement with that bell for many years, and who knows how much. But but he left us way too early, and, and we do something every year with the Salvation Army. Yes. And uh, in his remembrance, and we name the court in his honor. Yes. Uh, Sex Court. Yes. Um, uh, Steph was a little worried about the name, but but obviously <laughs> Dave Sek Seckler's court. And uh, the sign looks real nice. Tell, tell us, uh, you know, briefly about... Dave was uh, truly, truly uh, one of a kind. Anything I... You know, first of all, any time he came into the Salvation Army, in my office, we were always... First thing we did is talk sports. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a given. And then, you know, we went through our favorites, and then we got down to the Salvation Army. And, of course, between sports and the, and the Salvation Army, that was... Dave's uh, two loves, and he took care of the gym like it was his own. He 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 did, and uh, the one thing I, I knew him when I was young, 
you know, when I was not so young yes. and, and in all the middle. But, yes. but one thing is his love for people and caring yes. for people yeah. and love with the Salvation Army yes. and, and, and raising and helping. It just, he dedicated his life to others and that. A anything anybody would ask of him, he would do. I, like I said, during this time of the year, I, part of my responsibility is to get the volunteer kettle workers. And I got Dave, I need, somebody uh, didn't show up or did, <laughs> something happened here. He goes, where do you want me, Tony? And he would just go. And, um, and, I, and I would I pick up the kettles in the evenings, and Dave has always met me and put it all into the safe for the Salvation Army. And he was just, uh, just a true, true gentleman and truly, truly missed. Uh, Absolutely. We should all be so lucky to find a cause that means that much to us. So. Yeah, yes, I, I truly, truly agree. And as we said, there's, they're not one of a kind. And the Salvation Army in the community misses him absolutely and and um and I, i'm a big believer and supporter of the salvation yes. army and and i would be remiss to say if it wasn't because of dave Sackler, because he was the one that like i said brought me in when i was 11 or 12 years old i started playing basketball playing yeah. on his team's royal crown cola <laughs> and, we, and uh and he brought me in and, and i learned what the salvation army was about through basketball through basketball and that leads us you wanted to talk a little basketball just, just you know uh basketball is still part of my in my heart you know, like i said i from the very beginning that was my sport that i thoroughly enjoyed um and we're we're still doing many many good things at the salvation army for youth uh in the gym that's um, good to hear we 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 just supported last year we're gonna do it again this year uh, AAU basketball is big now in our community, and we have three teams, and we, they practice here at the Salvation Army, and then they go do tournaments also. So uh, we're supporting them. We have about 30 kids that come into our practice, practice here, and then go do their thing. And some of, it, and it's not about winning or losses. Uh, Sports is so much more than that. And so absolutely. the value of learning together is, and, is so much And I gotta different. tell you, I'm sitting here thinking, 31 years you've been you've been around basketball your whole life yes. i know you played yes but you still get that excitement telling us about aau travel i can feel the excitement and it's just amazing the yes. effect sports have My sorry Steph. <laughs> oh no that? it's okay i was actually uh, having flashbacks to all of the little lancer tournaments <laughs> <laughs> when your kids were were young and and getting all of those organized and doing rosters and all of that so and, and for you that don't know that Steph was my assistant coach, although you didn't see her all those years we built and did the little Lancer program. She was the person be behind the scenes that organized and kept everything flowing because it sure as heck wasn't me, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, tell us a little more about the AAU. And well, like I said, we, we, we're doing that, and what, what we're going to try to do this year, I know I talked to you about this before, and one of my prior jobs was uh, I was a, a YMCA director in a junior and a YMCA, and you mentioned March Madness. Uh, March yes, Madness. And I, I actually, I won't put it all on me, but that started basically around the time where I was there, and we called it March Madness. And every year, every uh, every weekend, we had different tournaments, and, it, and I think they're still doing that. Yeah. And it was just a fun thing. And hopefully, starting in March of this year, uh, hopefully the Salvation Army is going to be doing some of that again. I would love to see that happen, uh, and but, and, you, and I have to get approved by Christy and Steph, but you might be able to come see Web Weekly to sponsor the March Madness if they say it's all right. So. Mm -hmm. I think I could get behind that one. <laughs> okay, very good. Like I said, uh, well, I have a true friend in Web Weekly, and, and, and certainly... We could talk sports for a long, oh, long time. <laughs> Anything else you need to get in here before we uh, we move on? No, I, like I said, I just uh, certainly, certainly appreciate not not just the support of uh, the Web Weekly, but you know, it's truly amazing uh, the support given to the Salvation Army, mm -hmm. and we certainly, certainly appreciate it. And we we value we value the dollars we do get on behalf of the Salvation Army and we also value the many many hours of volunteers commitment to the Salvation Army so uh, thank you well you're very welcome and it's that time of year and in the last couple of years to honor Dave Seckler we've partnered in remembering yes. Dave and we've matched donations that came into our kettle here yes or that came direct mailed to you in Dave's name and uh, I think Steph, we've raised over with everybody's help, with all your help out there, over $23,000. Something like that, yeah. Is that, it's been is quite that a bit. sound right? That's exactly right. Yeah, it was um, over $23,000 so far. Um, yep. And this year, we're talking about what we're going to do, but I can. we haven't decided completely, and, and I don't want to put... Yep. But I want to do something 
your basketball programs, all the people in and out of that gym, we're going to do something to refinish the court. Uh, the basketball court at the Salvation Army needs refinished. And, and any of you putting money in the kettles, the pots, please do so. Please send it. And if you want to mark the envelope for, for the basketball court, feel free. Um, but but we'll go uh, that, we're going to do something a little different here. And, and i, and I got to find out the expense. But Steph... Uh, Christy and I talked, and I think that's a good uh, thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm always a big supporter of anything that, that gives kids something to do and what a great place for them to be doing it. So. And, and you played basketball, and you know... I played basketball poorly. Well, very, but you very played, poorly, but I did play. There was nothing worse than a slippery court, was there? <laughs> yes. And your feet go one way, and you go the other. And so and that's our thinking at the salad. And here, it gets used for so much other yes. than basketball. So I don't want anybody to think it's just for basketball. No. That gym is used all the time. It really is. And because so. that's, that's our big uh, meeting area. Just a lot of different groups come in and out of there. And it just, yes. And uh, you feel good about that if we do that? I, I again... A sincere thank you to the bottom of my heart for all your support. Do I get a whistle if I want to coach one of those teams? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I wish they had that. Time. Oh, my gosh. Please, please don't give them a whistle. <laughs> hey, and, and I guess anything else, Steph? I think that's about it. Just remember, you know, the kettles are out. Um, yes. The angel trees are out. Um, they're always in need of, of um, turkeys and toys, and you can drop those off right at the Market Street location. Um, the thrift stores, all of that money goes back into the community. So just keep that in mind when you're out and about traveling and, and doing your holiday shopping. And uh, I appreciate you coming in. Thank That's you, my friend. Thank you so Happy much. Happy Thanksgiving Happy to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And uh, we'll be Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be right back after commercial break. Looking for a new truck? We know that 88% of you have already done your research online. You know the best price and factory rebates. Now you want to take a test drive and you have to pick a dealership to visit. Let Murray Motors make your decision easier. We offer a no-hassle, low-pressure experience. Our staff is friendly and knowledgeable. All new Ford purchases get our free lifetime engine and transmission warranty. So what are you waiting for? Stop in and save thousands on these trucks and see why more people continue to buy from Murray Motors. And we're back, and you know, I never thought I'd see the day where I spent this much time talking about football. But we have had uh, uh, some really amazing teams throughout the the valley this year, and unfortunately, you know, Williamsport's the only one left. But um, they're they're having an amazing run. Yeah, absolutely. The district titles. Unfortunately, the only team that advanced on in the state yeah. tournament was the Williamsport Millionaires. But you know, district titles won by Muncie, won by Jersey Shore, won by Montoursville. Uh, and along with Williamsport, fantastic year. And shout out to all those. But the Millionaires play on. They had a great win. Uh, Web Weekly Live, Gary yeah. Chrisman and Ken Sawyer filled in for Babe Mayer, who was his birthday. Happy birthday, Babe. Mm -hmm. um, unbelievable game. State College was heavily favored. I didn't believe that. And, uh, and, they, and then at the end, they weren't. But that almost 60,000 views of that ball game on Web Weekly Live. Yeah, if you and, haven't and seen it yet, it's still up. WebWeeklyLive.com, go and, and watch the game before next week's game. And um, a tip of the cap to Coach Cruz of the Millionaires. They could fantastic job they've done, and they play on. Yeah. And they play, as you mentioned, Pittsburgh Central Catholic, who is a legit big school, a lot bigger enrollment than Williamsport. And, and, and it's, it's a... Uh, Catholic school, which enables them to bring players in that maybe wouldn't normally play for them, if you know what I'm saying yeah. in a nice way. Um, they probably have eight to ten Division One recruits, so the millionaires are going to be tested. Uh -huh. It's it's big school, it's big boy high school football. I'm excited about it, and and we're going to bring it to you again. Uh, Cable Sports Productions, Gary Chrisman, um, uh, Derek Rizzo. And PA Sports Live, and of course us at Web Weekly. We're yep. going to pay that ridiculous fee <laughs> that the PIAA charges. We're going to pay that fee. It keeps and, getting and, more and I should say, every week. Yes, <laughs> the sponsors or advertisers are going to help us bring you the Williamsport Millionaires Live. Yes. Web yeah. Weekly Live this Saturday, one o'clock, um, Altoona, right? Yes. Yeah. There, we're we're going to go to Altoona. Um, and you know, I know you guys have been out and about talking to everyone in the area. Um, I know you've been yes. with Gary and and Chris Massey. Um, if you guys didn't see last night's um, touchdowns and tailgate show, be sure to check that out. Um, oh, 
You, it was a great episode. Thank you for so. reminding me. You know, I get so <laughs> many touchdowns and tailgates. And if you haven't watched it this year, go to webweekly.com or webweeklylive.com and watch it. Every We, we tried to feature the athletes, the coaches, the area schools. And we got around, I think, to everybody through the course of the year. More than once, I think. And, and it's just fantastic. It, it, it shows you the, the young men behind the helmets and the coaches that aren't on game day. And you get their personality and it really says a lot about who we are in our area. Now, this week, we did something a little special. Um, Mr. Robinson at Park Pizza, he, he provided pizza for, for, Williams, for the Williamsport Millionaires. We went up, and thank you to Park Pizza. And uh, we went up, and we had pizza, and we did our Web Weekly uh, touchdowns and tailgates. Uh, powered by the Fairfield mm -hmm. Auto Group. Yeah. It's a lot to get in one <laughs> sentence. Um, and, and just a tremendous... I can't imagine how much pizza it takes to feed the Williamsport High School football team. That's a lot of pizza. Well, I know that we started out with 24, <laughs> and I don't know where we finished. But speaking of that, you know I love to feed everybody. Mm -hmm. How many pizzas do you think I've bought in over the years? I don't, I, again, I don't, I don't want to think <laughs> about how many pizzas that you, <laughs> you've purchased over the years. But, but um, um, and, and obviously, um, Scott... Um, Robinson made that easy because he is a true supporter of Williamsport Sport Millionaires and Athletics and of Web Weekly uh, Live. He's been right there from the beginning, as so many have, the Rennie Road Armo and, and, and Rick Quigley um, at Fairfield Auto Group. So um, I don't want to talk football all day. Yeah, just one more time. We don't need to forget. Talk turkey a little more. Yeah, just one more time before <laughs> we um, do that. Um, again, like 8:20 Saturday morning, head up to the high school into that area, lie in the street, send the football team off um, in a great way. Um, we wish them luck. Absolutely, um, and, and um, I hope we, I'm hope I hope I'm talking to you next week, and you and Christy are pulling your hair out because <laughs> you're spending how <laughs> much? Because those PIAA fees are going to go up again. Well, what are we going to do about those PIAA fees? I I don't know. I guess we 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 pay them, and then we hope that they're being put to good use. Well, I, all I can say is I don't think anybody would not attend a, a live game that was going to be there. They're worried, if they're worried about attendance, I, I just totally disagree with that. I think that allowing uh, the live streaming to take place at a reasonable fee has to happen because our service, we have service men and women around the world watching mm -hmm. those games. We have family men. We have people that graduated from, and not just the women's sport games. We did it all year long. Yep. And uh, we didn't get into these heavy fees till till the district playoffs and the state tournaments. But I'll never buy the argument it cuts down at the gate and that the PIAA isn't getting their cut. I yeah, buy, I don't here's know if I can believe that either. Yeah, and I guess I better stay positive and happy Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah. on to the PIAA. So, <laughs> so speaking of Thanksgiving, um, we've got Juliana up next. We have Juliana next. I, you're not going to want to miss it. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick commercial break for Murray Motors, and we'll be back with Juliana. You are a smart shopper. You research online and read all the reviews on safety and economic savings. Buying a new car is a big decision and we know that at Murray Mazda. So combine the great reviews the Mazda CX-5 is getting, our inventory, friendly and knowledgeable sales staff, and our free lifetime engine and transmission warranty, as well as 0% for 63 months. Why wouldn't you come test drive a Mazda today? Driving matters to Mazda and you matter to Murray Mazda. Hello, I'm Jordana from Love Kids, and this week I'm up near Rose Valley Lake at Memorable Mounds Taxidermy. This week Jimmy's gone crazy, and he and he had me stand out in the cold talking to a flock of turkeys. So, the person who started this tradition of pardoning a turkey at Thanksgiving is Harry S. Truman, the President of the United States. So I'm going to carry on the tradition, and I'm going to pardon a lot of these turkeys. You're welcome, by the way. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone at home. Be free, my fine feathered friends. Peace. Back to you, Jimmy. Well, how about that, Steph? I know. You can't beat Juliana. She's just so cute. <laughs> president she's going to be president someday yeah pardoning turkeys i know i i can't believe it and you know she's gotten so popular over the last few weeks she's she's getting thousands of views in her own right so i know i'm I, so proud of that little girl <laughs> hey let me ask you this Th that turkey's not coming back to live in our office is it i hope not i mean we do have an empty desk we could yeah. we could just stick larry's it desk <laughs> <laughs> how about how about this 
What do you think Christy or Juliana's mom is going to do when that turkey shows up there? Well, she's, I mean, she really likes animals. She might be excited about it. <laughs> Does a turkey, you know, she leaves that turkey run around there. Do you think her German shepherd would bind with it at all? Or? I hear her German shepherd might do something with it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we better let that alone. So what do you have? Um, just one, one last thing before we go. Um, you know, tonight is one of the busiest nights of the year at, at bars and restaurants. Um, please, please be careful. Um, be safe. No drinking and driving. It's it's not worth it. Um, you know, call a cab. You can get a cab at 570-322-2222. They keep it simple for you. And now we do have Uber available in the area now. Download the app. Get yourself a safe ride home. Please be careful. Absolutely. And it's one of the, it is it the biggest night out? I think it, it is. is. It's, it's like the Black Friday of, of bars. So. And uh, if I need a ride, can I call you? Absolutely. You? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'll go out. I'm... Uh, those days have passed, but but I used to have a lot of fun. Absolutely. Didn't we all? Hey, anything else you have in uh, I think that's it. Just, you know, happy Thanksgiving. Well, thank you, and, and happy Thanksgiving, and uh, we got to take a little moment here. Remember the true meaning of Thanksgiving. I mean, when, when you're celebrating it with your family, we are so blessed in this great country of ours. Give thanks to God and, and to His Son, Jesus Christ, for the special day it is, and, and all that we are blessed with each and every day, and uh, it's truly so much going on about our country, mm -hmm. and when we had a tough presidential election, election but it truly is the greatest place in the world to live yep. and there's a reason why everybody wants in and nobody's leaving so re remember that at thanksgiving how special the country we live in is and to give thanks and to teach the children the true meaning of thanksgiving and, and as always god bless america